I received a package in the mail today. In it are the parts of my new computer build. A 240GB solid state drive, some case fans, a Core i5 CPU, and 16 gigs of RAM, hiding border crossing style under my new SSD. I also received my new case and motherboard, but didn't bother filming that. I'd like to thank you all for funding this, but you may be wondering at this point why I'm bringing it up. I ordered these parts in order to build a performance computer capable of running games at higher speeds. This applies to World of Tanks, however increasing my performance in World of Tanks isn't the primary reason why I need all these new parts. As I showed a while ago, switching simply to an SSD with my current build increased the game's performance and appearance considerably. These parts will not only allow me to run World of Tanks on higher settings, but it will also allow me to play and stream more modern games as well. The reason I've been so focused on getting a PC that can do these things is simple. I don't know if I have a long-term future with North American World of Tanks. The North American server population has been a hot topic within the World of Tanks community for some time now, but let's look at some hard numbers. At whatnews.com, we can find a page that displays graphs of various player activity levels, and if these graphs are indeed accurate, they have some pretty bleak news to tell about the North American server populations. The number of players registered per month has been in a steady decline, reaching a record low of 33,000 in April, and even lower of 8,000 in March, so low that I'm almost skeptical that it's an actual figure, and not just an error in the system. Again, these are record-setting numbers, lower than any other recorded. The number of players per week has also been declining since the beginning of the year, with a month-long interruption in April likely to do with the Operation Typhoon campaign. Overall, this figure has been declining since March of last year. I'm not offering explanations yet. I'm saving that for another video. What I'm trying to point out is that the future of North American World of Tanks is uncertain at best, and doomed at worst. With that in mind, I'm going to try and rebrand this channel in some way, either as a general gaming entertainment channel, or as a channel dedicated mostly to another game. I'm not going to give up on World of Tanks entirely, and I understand that the reason most of my subscribers are here is for World of Tanks content. So I'll still stream on Wednesdays, and I'll still try to release a steady flow of videos, but I no longer think it's safe to be putting all of my eggs into the World of Tanks basket. I'll stick to World of Tanks as long as I can. After all, I still am a member of my clan Thugs, and one of the reasons I've been coming back to this game is trying to grind out Russian mediums for use in Clan Wars. As for games I might try in the future, I have a few ideas in mind. I already play Dota 2 regularly, although I'm not terribly good at it, and I don't think that would make for very good video content. CSGO, on the other hand, is another game I may consider switching to. I don't play it currently, but I have played it in the past, and I have a long history with Source games. I have also have a lot of experience with mapping for certain Source games, and would consider making tutorials to do so. Aside from that, I have a whole collection of Steam games and other games I'd be willing to try. I'll make some announcement videos in the future when I decide exactly what I'm going to do with this channel. I also expect a video or two in the future explaining why I think the game isn't retaining players or appealing to the North American audience like it should be. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my stream tonight.